it's probably a good time to start getting rid of the tubs that have been lying in the top of the fridge for, well, since we started actually. There's flavours that we didn't do tubs for. Royal Wee, my wife draws the tubs. If you're new to the channel, you don't know, all of these were done by my wife. She uses Sharpie pens and other type of magic things and she does all the designs. And it's been quite an evolution from the first to the last. So the first, which was this one, and the last, which was this one. Let me show you these here. As you can see, there's quite an evolution. This is when we started the channel under the name of $5 Shake, obviously from Pulp Fiction. Um, and over time we changed it to Polarized Greenery, which was our retail name. But the, the quality of the artwork that my wife has done is, has always been excellent. But you know, there's quite a, quite a difference there. So, so as we've run out of room, we thought we'd pack up the tubs and just pick out some of our favorites from here before they go into this little box on the floor. And we start again for 2023. We don't do a, a drawing for every tub. We only do them for, you know, the odd one here or there, just because we don't have time. My wife is very busy. She has a very busy job. And we have a toddler. She's two years old, just over now. And, you know, she takes up a lot of time. And we want to make sure that we're there for her rather than sitting down on the on the sofa every night drawing a tub. It's, it's boring for her. So we have to do what we have to do in life. So let's just grab some of these talk through them this was a great flavor the the i don't know if you can see it there it's uh the midnight cookies and cream chocolate midnight cookies loads of different names for this hagen dahl's made and it's actually an excellent ice cream uh, the video is linked below to all of the ones that i'm gonna say you know were my favorites this one was also really good. The actual ice cream that you can buy for this, this is the Serendipity ice cream, is a bit crap. But our version, much, much better. So that was really nice. Cherry Garcia, that was a good one. Stark Raven Hazelnuts, I mean, look at that, look. That deserves a photo. Great artwork, Stark Raven Hazelnuts was an exceptionally expensive ice cream to make using Laphroaig whiskey. I didn't, I didn't like that one. Um, but ultimately, a really good ice cream. That was my version of Jenny's Darkest Chocolate. Really good ice cream. You can kind of play with the chocolate flavors in that if you, if you want to. Coffee and donut. I really struggled to get a strong donut flavor in this one. The actual recipe only called for four donuts and, and I think I doubled that and still couldn't get the flavor through. Maybe it's a different kind of donut recipe in the US than it is over here because it was basically flavorless. The coffee side was great. Um, rain dough, cookie dough, cookie dough core. Um, we don't have or we didn't at the time have the big fancy sprinkles that you guys in the US get. Uh, ours are pathetic but now actually there's a there's a company called Crumbs and Doilies. You've probably seen them. They're all over the internet. They're, they're a bakery originally in Soho in London. Their food is incredible. And they also have a YouTube channel. I'll link it below. They sell these giant sprinkles. So I'll likely buy some of those in the future and use them. But that was pretty good. Oh, big failure. I actually didn't release the video for this, but great tub. I'm gonna keep that tub because I do want to make that at some point. Cinnamon snickerdoodle, that was great. It was a nice cinnamon ice cream, you know, snickerdoodle pieces in there, vegan pistachio, that kind of, you know, that was a really good ice cream. Very, very tasty. Um, hopelessly devoted to Moo. That was, I had to make an entire cake for that one. That, that took forever to make. Good ice cream though. Chunky Monkey, my first banana ice cream that I actually didn't mind. Caramel Kern Explosion, that was surprisingly good because the caramel didn't go as hard as I thought it would in a freezer. So that was that was really good. Eggnog, that was loaded with booze. Actually, I probably used the wrong alcohol in this last year, 2022 Christmas. 
because it had this lime undertone to it and kind of was overpowering for the rest of it. But I'll do this again in 2023. Great tub, Santa Claus straight from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. S'mores, excellent, excellent ice cream. Let me get rid of some of these tubs. Do a picture of that so you can see the tub. That was really, really good. Really top-notch marshmallow fluff. Yeah, really, really nice, that one. Great candy copia. Way too many add-ins in that. Way too many. But fluffernutter, yeah, not really for me. I can understand why some people like it. Those are like the savoury, kind of sweet mixes. It just wasn't for me. The custard Belgian chocolate. I didn't do a tub for the original Belgian chocolate. That was much better, much closer to the haagen original. The custard version, it, it, it subtracts from the flavor of the cocoa and the chocolate inside, so it changes the way it's made. But if you go back to the original haagen Belgian chocolate video, it's like six and a half thousand views now, that one was spot on. You need to use the right cocoa powder. That's really important for that one. Caramel brownie party. This was a suggested flavor and now it is actually available in the UK and I think other places as well. Really, really good ice cream as well. I used Patrick's recipe. Patrick does the ice cream calculator, the one you should be using anyway. Um, that was really, really nice. The Johnny Depp inspired pirates inspired ice cream, a load of rum. I think I actually just finished off the rum truffle that was in the freezer still. Oh, that was strong. It, it used the Puss's 50% spice rum. Really, really nice. Um, the first Christmas pudding. Again, this, this one actually was better than this year's Christmas pudding. I think the actual puddings themselves were better. And I think that's what changed or made it a little bit more appealing to me anyway. But I don't know what you've got available to you. That one... Yeah, it was a bit of fun to do. It, the ice cream itself wasn't, you know, amazing, but all for a bit of fun. Not everything has to work out all the time. Cookies and cream, a classic, you know. Some people put loads of cookies in there. I like to have a nominal amount because I, I, you know, I like to eat the ice cream and not just have the add-in sometimes. Honey lavender. I, I recorded a rosemary ice cream. I mentioned this in there. I hated this when I first made it. Great tub though, look. Great tub, and, and this flavor grew on me. It very perfumed, obviously, is the lavender, but after a few weeks, I was finding myself actually sneaking little bits out of the tub. So, Jaffa Cake, love Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes are, they're a, a biscuit shaped mini cake, soft sponge covered in, um, or has a circle of Jaffa orange gel, jelly kind of stuff, and then the top is covered in chocolate. They also did all chocolate Jaffa cakes years ago. They were the best ones I've ever had, and they were chocolate sponge, Jaffa orange piece. The whole thing was covered in chocolate, top and bottom. Bring those back, McVitie's. So, Jaffa cakes, really, really nice. Maple bacon streusel. Um, yeah, okay. Again, it kind of follows in line with with the fluffer nutter thing. It's it's okay, I guess. I wouldn't jump to making it again. Thick mint. If you love mint, that is one to make. I really enjoyed the little mint truffles, the little round mint truffles that went in into that. That was really nice. A nice little mix, but. You know, if, you, if you're one of these people that likes to use mint plants to make their mint ice cream, I'm gonna talk about that in a video next year. I don't, but whatever floats your boat, you're gonna struggle with that because you'll need to use the mint extract in all the other parts of that ice cream. So you can save yourself a job and use the mint extract for the ice cream itself. But I'm not gonna tell you how to make your ice cream. All I'm here to do is offer suggestions for all these recipes. And this one, I suggest that you make it. This is coffee, coffee, buzz, buzz, buzz. If you're a coffee ice cream fan, make this one. It was really, really nice. I'm gonna do an entire coffee series and it's gonna span months and months and months. 
because I, I, for Christmas, over the Christmas period, I got a lot of coffee. We're gonna talk about that in another video, but coffee, coffee, buzz, buzz, buzz. Really good. The tiramisu topped, that was the first attempt, and it, I mean, it was an excellent attempt, and I used the mascarpone cheese in that as opposed to cream. And that mascarpone really added a nice kind of acidity to it. It's almost like a soured cream slightly. That was really, really nice. Yeah, really, really good. I, I definitely want to use mascarpone again in an ice cream. Marshmallow Sky, that is a scoop shop only flavor using blue spirulina for the color. That was really nice. Marshmallow swirls, two different types of cookie dough in there as well. Mm, really, really good. Um, can't wait to go back to the US and actually get some scooped up in a shop. Let's move some of these around. If you've watched the channel long enough, you know that I normally wear my Cookie Monster lounge pants, but we've got other ones, don't worry. We've got other lounge pants. White chocolate fudge pretzel. This is a, an ice cream from Gelato Messina. I actually didn't like this recipe. I didn't think the recipe was particularly good. Gelato Messina, they love to put huge amounts of stabilizer in there. I mean, you know, a lot, twice as much as is actually required. So I don't know, they just say stabilizer. I don't actually know what stabilizer they're using. So I don't have the book. I'm not, it's not a book I'm really that interested in, but maybe I'll buy the digital version and see what they use. But I don't like pretzels either. Maybe that's why I just didn't like it. Hunker Hulker Burning Fudge, that's another tub that needs a picture. If This, I think, is my wife's favorite tub. She loves this one. Great ice cream, really good fudge core to it as well. Irish cream brownie. That is basically the same as whatever the other one was. I don't know, it's one of these piles. Maybe I didn't do a tub for it, but Hagen Dars and Ben and Jerry's, they did basically identical flavors. Oh, Dublin Mudslide, that's what it is. I didn't do a tub for it, or my wife didn't do a tub for it. Um, yeah, okay, I, I think I'm starting to prefer Bailey's in other things as opposed to ice cream, but what I might just do, Hagen Dars did years ago, back, back in, you know, caveman times, they did a Bailey's ice cream, just Bailey's ice cream, no add-ins, nothing. That was actually surprisingly really good. So maybe I'll revisit that in 2023 and try and remake that. Hagen dazs have done some astonishing ice creams over the years. The vegan fish food, really good. The vegan marshmallow, um, over here, chickpea fluid, or the liquid from chickpea cans, it's got a disgusting foul taste to it. And it's really brown. And if you're trying to make white marshmallow fluff, like US bloggers, vloggers, tell you to do, using the liquid from canned chickpeas, it fails. It fails because it it tastes rank. It tastes horrid. So I've got, I bought some really nice, unique, modern ingredients, gastro kind of ingredients that I'm gonna try and create a vegan, plant-based marshmallow fluff that tastes like the non-plant-based fluff. That's the important bit. It needs to taste right, because if it looks right for the internet and you give these recipes to all the people and they go, oh yeah, it's amazing, amazing, but none of them actually make it, then what's the point? You're just bullshitting everyone. You're modifying the pictures, you're lightening the color of the fluff up to make it look bright white. In reality, it's basically brown. And that to me is a pointless venture. So if you're one of those bloggers and you've modified your pictures, of which I see a lot of when I look for recipes online, you modify your pictures, you, you overexpose them to bring that fluff, plant-based fluff up as white as it can get, don't do it. Coffee, toffee, coffee. This was another excellent ice cream. It's coffee ice cream with coffee toffee fudge pieces that was actually picture worthy as you can see my wife does some great tubs and artwork love that she used to do these shame she doesn't have time maybe you know when life changes and kiddo grows up a bit we'll get some more time biscoff nice it was really nice and creamy good biscoff flavor through it um, lots of people Kept coming back for that one. We made a lot of that ice cream. Chocolate P 
peanut butter. My wife doesn't like peanut butter. I do like peanut butter. Um, that was really nice. Spot on recipe to the Hagen dazs as well. So, you know, that's a good one to make. All these recipes I recommend are gonna be linked below. Salted caramel brownie topped. Yeah, okay. I'm not a huge fan of the salted caramel kind of, you know, r regime that's out there. Everyone loves it, but maybe it's just me. Fossil fuel, that was really nice. That was a really good mix. Um, you know, I, I kind of, in a way, I understand why they took it off the shelves, but let's be fair, sh surely you can move past the name of an ice cream now. I said this in the, in the original video. You know, we're, we're adults. Just because something's called fossil fuel, does it really mean you have to take it off the shelf? I don't think so. Anyway, salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough. Great. This recipe, this ice cream, um, salt and straw, in case you're wondering, salt, straws. Um, this changed my approach to cookie dough. After making this, which I think had two different types of cookie dough in, changed my opinion on cookie dough completely. So if you're not sure, Try that. What we got? Toffee fee. Or as some weird people out there call it, toffee fee. It's not, it's toffee fee. Um, really good. Actually, other retailers asked if they could use this recipe, which is fine. I was quite happy, uh, you know, as they asked. Um, I don't really want people just copying these to use in their shops, but it's up to you what you do. I give them out there to the public domain. Who am I to say otherwise? Got my own ice cream flavors. Those I don't give out to people. But this was really, really good. It had a nice kind of to um, semi-viscous toffee core to it. Yeah, really nice. Nice milk chocolate flakes in there. Really good fudge, actually. This video didn't do particularly well. But if you fancy going back to the early days, then this recipe was spectacular. And it was, you know, just strawberry ice cream with um, Chambord to boost flavors and it had shattered fudge in there as well. Yeah, jam swirl, really, really nice, really nice ice cream. Last two into Nutella. That was really nice. Nutella is quite a forgiving ingredient to use loaded with sugar it, it stays semi-liquid in ice cream to a degree um, so if you're going to make nutella ice cream or you can use nutella for lots of different add-ins as well you know it's a nice place to start i used marshmallow actually it's swiss meringue uh, in that as, as an add-in that was really nice and the last tub before we pack them away is give me some more now, Gimme S'more is what made me want to go down this route here. So, you know, that, that's the evolution really right there. We've got the Gimme S'more, maybe a little bit overexposed, but I'm sure you can see it, and the S'mores ice cream here. Different, very different approaches. This one, I melted the marshmallows in the oven and then blitzed them into the base, got them really black on the outside that gave it a really nice color whereas in this one i made the marshmallow fluff which changed my approach to making marshmallow fluff and i torched that in the tub itself rather than doing any other way i don't know which one i prefer i'm, I'm probably going to make them both again and do a comparison maybe even come up with another way of making s'mores ice cream as well because it's such a good flavor but oh yeah look i've just noticed you can actually see on the inside there we go look just there you can just see the burn from the torch when I used it. Ice cream tubs. There we go. 2022, 2023 will be very different years for us. We're gonna do some other things in 2023. Um, by, by which I mean, you know, we'll be doing some other kind of recipes. We'll be doing some brownies that I use. I'll show you how to make the brownies, the fudges, the swirls. We'll go into more detail about stabilizers. We've got some great new flavors coming up. We've got a lot of stuff coming in 2023, but I really thank all of you that joined us on this journey. We've gone over a thousand subscribers now. I think we're at uh, 1,030. So we, we had quite a, 
quite a boost over the Christmas period. So that's really good. Really thankful for everyone that's joined us up until now. Hopefully we'll continue to give you lots of inspiration, ideas and recipes into the new year. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, you can support the channel on Kofi, all the links below as well, Kofi here. And we will see you next year. Bye.